And uh, so that was our, our main new entry into the guitar world in the, in the 50s. 1960 rolls around and Gibson does something that everyone just kind of shook their head and said, what the heck is that? The Hummingbird. Unique style, unique look, uh, red to orange, some different colorations. Kind of a wacky pick guard in some people's mind, but it caught on. The Hummingbird, the J45, as I said, has been our number one best-selling guitar every year. The Hummingbird's been number two every year since it was released in 1960. And the only explanation I have is that it just works. I was final inspector at the factory for about two and a half years, and during that time I played every Gibson acoustic made, and I, I don't know, almost every day my favorite guitar of the day was, was one of the Hummingbirds I played. They just always just seemed to respond well, work well. Uh, Gibson's the Hummingbird, 1960. In 1962, Gibson introduced the Dove, and there's always been some confusion with some people, you know, what's the difference between a Dove and a Hummingbird? And those of you that are familiar with guitars, you know, you know they have their similarities, but there's two basic main differences between the two. The Hummingbird has traditionally been a mahogany guitar with a short scale fingerboard, and the Dove has been a maple guitar with a long scale fingerboard. Now, some people uh, that aren't guitar nerds uh, you know, uh, wonder what's long scale, short scale, what's, what's the differences, what's the advantages, what do you mean by that? Well, the scale length is, is the length of the string between the saddle and the nut. The physics behind it is, you take a string of any given diameter, and the longer it is, the tighter you need to stretch it to get it to a specific pitch. So you have a long scale guitar, what's that mean? It means it's going to be a little tighter, it's going to play a little stiffer, whereas a short scale guitar is going to have a little less tension, it's going to play a little easier. Okay, but the, on the positives and negatives. Yes, the short scale will play easier, play, it's nicer if you play with a lighter touch, but you're not going to get the overall volume you get out of that tighter tension long scale guitar. I always make the analogy that's why Martins, the bluegrass, the traditional bluegrass instruments are all long scale. They need that volume because a lot of times they're playing fully acoustically, not plugged in. And as I always say, they've got to compete with those damn banjos. And so it's like it's the only way you can get there is by being loud. And so it's, uh, that's, that's the long scale, short scale thing. Traditionally, all our 45s and our hummingbirds have been short scale. Our J200s and like our advanced jumbos and our songwriter line have been long scale. So we try to offer both directions depending on your style of play. But that's uh, in a nutshell the difference between the hummingbird and the dove.